Hi, I'm Matthew Teague with Popular Woodworking Magazine. To make sure the top and bottom of a small box match up perfectly, I start by assembling the box as a solid cube where both the top and bottom are in place. Start by marking out the cut line for the box. As you position it, remember to account for the width of the blade. At the table saw, raise the blade so that it will cut through all but the last 16th inch or so of the box side. Notice that in this case we've reinforced the miter joints with keys. Then adjust the fence on your table saw so that the blade aligns with the cut line you marked on the box. Then simply make the cuts. After you cut the first side, double check to make sure you're not cutting through the full depth of the box side. Adjust if necessary, then cut the three remaining sides. Once all the sides are cut, simply use a back saw to cut through the last little bit of each side. When you separate the top from the base, you may need to use a small block plane or sandpaper to clean up any rough edges. Once the box is finished, the top and bottom will both align perfectly and show off the continuous grain pattern from the top to the bottom. 